All right, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about how to create beautiful hair in Maya using Xgen and later export them to Blender. So there's gonna be two parts of the video. So for now, let's talk about how to create good looking hair in Maya using Xgen. So welcome, so here we have a character that I made using ZBrush not, not so long ago. And uh, we're gonna be creating hair on this little guy. I've already created a hair for him. This is a hair that I created using Xgen. So you can see how good is that. I'm not a uh, um, good grooming artist or anything, but this is, I mean, anyone could create this after watching this video. That is my goal. <laughs> so I wanted to show you how what's my, how is my workflow for creating this kind of hair. So I, I hide all of them. I just need a base mesh. And so there are two ways to create hair in action. Uh, the the one way to create ex, uh, hair is by selecting the face and then duplicating them and then separating them. But for now, what we can do is uh, we can actually click. Um, what we do is we go to the UV editor. So in my UV editor, you you can see that I've already created few cuts I, I've separated them inside the UV um, to do that um, you, all you need to do is uh, go to the edge select mode right here or you just in the modeling tool just go click this one this is face this is uh, vertex vertex and this is edge so yeah just select them select the part you want to um, you know cut out and then just click on uh, cut and then cut it off so if, if you make a mistake like uh, you know you want to go back in there and then you want to cut this part uh, you know fix this part just go click on sue so that will um, show uh, that will definitely help uh, you know uh, fix that problem if you're having if you want to do that so anyway um, mm, let's go to interactive room okay you can go to so anyway this is how it's gonna look like and um so what we do is we do the same way just you know if you're if you're just um uh, having a cut out of the head uh, part you just select it and then hit the thing i'm just gonna do that create and then you just create but for now i uh, just click the uv editor and then select um select this um this one right here i know what it's called it's a cube uh uv shell selection yep there you go and you just select any of the shell you know separated one so i'm just going to click the top one and then and then you just create and interactive groom splines so yep yeah, there you go and there we have the density i will keep the density as per the spine count so sp spline count also um for now i will keep between like 1000 to 1500 so go to 340 there you go that's uh, not what i meant but yeah 1000 to 2000 between you can keep it that no, doesn't matter so you just create and then there's length and there's width scale cv count i'll leave it at 20 all the time because uh, you know or you can leave it five or default it's gonna be five i think so but yeah this is a good uh, thing so create you you might you must be seeing um this here if you're not seeing like this uh, either your texture is on oh, wait a minute that's not the one yeah either this this is on you can see this is exactly how it looks like in blender but yeah, this is like the uh, default material. Just just click unclick that, and then you might have it. Uh, you just you won't have it. You can get something you can get like this. So I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it hair score two. And um, we, we, when you click this plus sign, you can you can get a um, sculpt and scale and um, description base. So yeah, there you go. So first thing I'll use is scale it. So I'm gonna clip this uh, scale at one point uh, zero seven five. Um, no, that that is too small. So I'm just you know, just once you get that number, you just increase it like how much you need, and then there you go. Yeah, probably I'll leave it there. <laughs> it's just a default one. No, no, it's, it's half of it, so no mind. So you just leave it there, and then go to uh, description. No, 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 we go up to hair. 
my bad here and then you call with scale just reduce it until you see a decent looking one so yeah this uh, kind of looks okay for me and now you come here there's a taper one where you get this effect but I don't I don't use it much un unless I need it so before uh, before that I will do this one so this is like the one you would need so this is the one that shrinks the bottom and this is the one that shrinks the tip so I would definitely use both of them I would scale up this just right there scale this one down okay there you go also now you can just play around the with scale I won't make it that pointy that looks something else I'll leave it somewhere there and increase the width uh, somewhere around there all right there you go and now will be the good time to multiply it so I come here and then from 5 I'll take it to 1 to 5 so there you go we're starting to get that but I'm missing something I need to actually lower this value a little bit more so you can get so you can see there is kind of a weird thing going on right there that's because we don't have enough um, what do you call this? anti aliasing I'm sorry, I, it's kind of hard to remember. But I enable this, and that part is going. You can see the difference before and after. You get a clean uh, window, a clean, <laughs> clean uh, report. And then from there, we can actually work on the sculpt. So for the sculpt, first I use this ori or orientation. I just clip it on. Okay, and then make sure you click edit is on because if you're not if your edit is not on, I'll show you what what's gonna happen. So first, just click edit on. Then there's like so uh, not so many, but we we got some brushes here. Uh, yeah, it's it's some some brushes. So I'm not gonna go all of them because this is like a beginner's one. <laughs> so I just click this one. Uh, this is a um, what is this? What is it called? I don't know comb tool yeah comb tool <laughs> of course it's a comb tool so there is a uh, symmetry activated here I would like to turn that on uh, off so you just hold control and then hold right click uh, my mouse got a problem <laughs> I need to fix that off okay and then you kind of work on it you know uh, doesn't matter so you can see once you start to sculpt you can if you if you get something weird okay this is not on hold on if you go to the tool settings, there might be something called collide with meshes. So, like for example, like uh, I uh, saw the combat. You can see some of the part are going inside of it. So, if you have collide with meshes enabled, you can see you won't have that issue at all. You can see it's like it doesn't go inside. So, which is kind of cool. So, for increasing the brush size, hold B and then. Uh, just scale it up and down for increasing this uh, strength just hold M and then okay, this is too much strength M and down up and down just uh, like that and or you can just come down to tool settings and then change it there for now just uh, we're gonna make a weird hair on him eh. so you can see some of the hair are basically going in that's because it doesn't have enough distance for it but in my case, I'm just gonna leave it like that. It doesn't matter, boy. It just uh, I'm gonna leave it like there. Leave it like that. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna comb comb it all in, just like that. Do, 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 do. Or now we could have just enabled the, you know, symmetry because uh, we're I mean, later on we could just kind of get that part in something okay all right there you go that's not good but yeah something we could work on but yeah this is a tutorial so you don't need to be that detailed with the hair but for me okay there you go that's a good looking <laughs> hair that's it's not good so we need to do something so you can see when we click edit you can see we can actually turn that back up and down using the slider so uh, you can even animate it by adding a keyframe there and you can see we can actually adjust it but I'm gonna keep it at full to the full now and then add in another sculpt layer 
and call it smoothing so we need to change it to this edit so click on that and then you, sh you should see a smooth brush right here so we're not gonna you know do the same thing again smooth it up instead we're gonna use flood here we're gonna click on flood 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 okay so we we, we actually uh, run into some issues so hold on let me just uh, enable collide with meshes and try that again so you can see it's kind of smoothing out there you go we got some weird um things on the top but yeah uh you can actually comb it and fix it but this is a tutorial so uh and i'm not i'm not gonna go through them so as, as you know like we can actually control the smooth thing as well in here you know using that uh slider and you can get some weird thing so or oh uh, and then uh, orientation and then just kind of comb that in comb that all up again but yeah okay so right now we got a hair which looks like this Ta -da! and now we come here add in a modifier we're gonna add in a clump modifier so let's go add in a clump so you can see <laughs> you can see we got this kind of weird hair thingy, but yeah, this is what we this is what I'm looking for. So what I do is basically to get that effect, I add a clump with a um what is it? yeah there you go clump, and then I add a hold up okay I select clump for that, and then you come up here, go to density, I make it ten. So you can see uh, you get something like this, like uh, Goku style hairstyle. So what I do is I add another clump modifier. And then make sure you select that clump. And then you add a... You just add the density to 100. So right now it, it, gives, you, it gives you something like this. And now uh, you can actually go to back to orientation and then make the brush size a bit big and then you can kind of groom everything like you need, you know, it'll be good to do that now since you already have done that and then, you know, you can do that. And also you can just scale down to get a weird um, hair like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, you can actually play around with all that. And there are, I'm not showing you, but, uh, cause you can just go around and play with this. These are really good to play with, randomize. You, you mean, you, if you are intermediate, you must know everything, you know, clumping. You can just, if these values for the clumping are basically like how the strength from top to uh, tip to bottom is and all that. And then I add in another modifier. This time is going to be noise modifier. So you can see, basically, it's the same thing we used to do, like for procedural texturing, all those things. It's basically same, and for noise, it's the controls are a bit different. So magnitude is basically how strong do you want your clumps to look, um, clumps to be. Like you can get something like that. <laughs> okay, and also the frequency, uh, the frequencies like how curled up your, uh, your hair should be so <laughs> there you go that is one bad looking hair you can add then the overall you can you know clump and noise are the ba main thing i use so you can add up another clump modifier and then, then give it a value of like uh, 20 something and then or you can just increase it so you can see you get a bit of a weird hair right here like something that had uh, medusa hair so i'm just climbing up to 50 and you can see the, the, it looks more good. I mean, it looks uh, good. And then you can up, add up to 200, uh, where you can get like a massive clumping on the hair, which kind of looks like a thick kind of curled up hair. So curled exactly, but you can actually change. Um, this is what I'm talking about uh, the the segments. Like I added 2D before when I was adding the hair and for that and then you can just you know play it on just clump noise or just clumps if i again hide the noise you can see it looks something like that but yeah clumps and all that 
tough. And then there are basically some other ways you can actually um, bring hair. That is by using the um, other extend tool, which is over here. But I haven't touched that because uh, so far the so far like this extend has been good so I, ne I never needed to use that I mean you know, when I'm using Charlotte's character they do not ha they ha some might have but for this kind of character they this this type of hair is, uh, is always good and then you can add hair by hair so that's it for today in this tutorial and the next one I'll show you how you can actually um, import I mean export this to blender so stay tuned for that and thanks for watching Hope you learned something if you did just please leave it a comment and um i'll leave my uh, instagram page please tag me if you made something cool with this uh, tutorial so i would like to see what you guys made and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one